Okay, today, as promised, I was gonna show you the actual strength of my shoulder in external rotation and in the scaption position. And we're playing with our great little digital dynamometer today. Now, we use this in the clinic for testing strength or post-surgical, like myself, for injuries and left versus right for many things. And today, I'm gonna to show you on the shoulder. Now, this one is an active force one. It's a great little thing. And the good thing about this is it is connecting Bluetooth to the phone, so we can actually see what is going on with our peak force. So we'll show you with Joe what's happening here. So you can see on the phone, we've got the actual readout is connected through the handheld. Now the handheld device is this one, and so all that the practitioner needs to do is push against me. So we use it quite a lot, which is fantastic, because the patient can get a really good visual feedback, and we get our results. So what we're gonna do first, external? Yep. All right, so external, we're going to test it. Do you want to test it in sitting or lying? All right, let's test this out. So remember, my left shoulder is my surgical one, but I'm also left-handed, so we're going to see what the difference is. Now, the good thing about this is I can actually hold it, and I can show you what's going on, and I can see it myself, which is great for the patient. So we're going to measure it in kilograms, but we're looking at we're after the peak force part. Save. Go. Yeah, I can tap this. We can start. Ready? Go. Now we're gonna have to have a few goes at that just to make sure I was gonna get some decent strength out of there. So there's 17. We're gonna try it again. If this is a good arm. Let's give another shot. Oh man, that's hard work. But, oh 19, not bad. But that's completely pain free for me, right? Because it's my right shoulder. No pains whatsoever. I'm only fighting myself. Helps my look at it. And I get to 21, great. Now we've got to compare my left shoulder. And I've been working on it a little bit, but this shows you that rehab is never done, I would say. Right, Let's try that again. Ready? Oh. And again, no pain, which is comforting to know. That's good, eh? I think we were about half, 10, ten when we started. So I've got a 15. Let's try it again, see if it fatigues or not. One more, <laughs> this is hard work. Good to know the repair is completely intact though, huh? Oh, that's hard work. Oh, look at that, 18, We're getting there. But it took me a while to get up there, which is interesting to know, that's heaps better than before. Four weeks ago you were 10 kilos. Four weeks ago I was 10 kilos, and I've done the four weeks of that external rotation and scaption, which is great. Yeah. Now that's fatigued, but it's good to know that that's the sort of result we can get. And that result shows the patient from like, you know, this is where you're at, go training for four weeks, and then we, as we, we're treating them, then we can retest them over a certain period of time, show them the results, so that's fantastic. Now scaption's to go, so let's try that one on this arm first. Well, give, that my, give my bad arm a rest. So remember, scaption is going to test my supraspinatus, sort of basically directly. This might feel a bit more comfortable. Got a little pad on there. Okay, ready? Oh, jeez. That's a lot harder. 14.6. Okay, so should we try that one? Yeah. Right, one more. And go. <sighs> 13, I'm getting, I'm getting fatigued. All right, let's try the other side. I'm gonna psych myself up for this one. Okay. Nervous. Nervous. Okay, ready? Go. <sighs> 12. And it feels weaker, but it doesn't feel like it's going to fatigue and drop away, right? 
And part of the reason why that was weak was I had to bicep tendinopathy because of that tenodesis, but that's heaps better. Let's try again. Go. <sighs> 12 again. Not bad. So differences, but pretty damn close, which I'm, that's awesome, which I'm pretty happy about. But still works to go. So it shows you that this sort of stuff can test you and show your progress, but also show that you need to keep going. And again, we can do another four weeks of that and then retest that again in four weeks time. And hopefully things are even or getting more even. Now the good thing about that is you can also test your ratios left and right as well. So whether you've got one side that's actually got your external internal ratio a little bit different. Right, check in next time.